Where does the energy come from is a fun activity for groups of 10 to 30 people, and you'll need one card per participant. There are 15 double-sided energy cards provided in the toolkit. You'll find these, plus an additional 15 cards, in the Masters section of the activity write-up. No matter how many visitors you have, be sure that the subset you choose consists of complete energy chains. You'll find more information about choosing cards in the write-up. To introduce the activity, you might want to ask, who's got a lot of energy today? Or, who's feeling low energy? Ask them what they've done today that used energy. Answers may range from simply getting out of bed and brushing their teeth to riding a bike or using other sources of energy like turning on a light, heating water for tea, or driving a car. Everything we do uses some kind of energy. Then ask your visitors where the energy came from to do those things. A variety of fuel sources could be shared. From the food we eat to the gas in our car. This is an opportunity to get the visitors engaged and connected. You don't have to add anything but encouragement. After a few folks have shouted out answers, explain the activity like this. In this activity, you will each represent something that uses, transfers, or generates energy. Uh, would you like to be a human being? That should be easy. Your task is to read the back of your card to find out where you get your energy and then put your hand on the back of the person who represents that source of energy. Your energy source is written in bold letters on the back of your card. Uh, read the back of your card. Where does your energy come from? I get my energy from the food I eat. My food can be both plant and animal based. So, you would be looking for someone with a card that has something you can eat to give you energy. Put your hand on that person's back. Now, you might have to walk around with that person to find his or her source of energy. You might also end up linking up with more than one person. Let's give it a try. Here, everyone take a card. Begin the debrief with one chain, starting at the sun. One at a time, have them lay their cards on the ground with the arrow pointing to their source of energy. To wrap it all up, ask open-ended questions. Like, what do you notice? Usually they'll notice that the sun is the beginning of each chain. That means that the vast majority of energy we use every day originates from the sun. You can extend the activity in many directions by asking leading questions, such as, are there other energy options you might have chosen? Are there any kinds of energy that are missing? Let the audience summarize their discoveries. It could bring up nuclear power plants, the one form of energy on Earth that's not generated by the sun. You'll find more presentation tips, extensions, and background information in the activity write-up.